YouTube, what's going on today, man? Listen, in today's video, we've had some streamers say some interesting things. The streaming game has changed a lot. Let's be honest. And sometimes I hear some of these new guys say some things, man. I'm just, I'm blown away. A bunch of these content creators are talking about how creating content is one of the hardest jobs on the planet of all time. And a bunch of other crazy stuff. So, me, being a streamer for the last, I don't know, 20 years, would like to give you my thoughts. If you like today's YouTube video, don't forget to like the video, man. I know a lot of you guys are on the outside, you're looking in, but do you think streaming is a difficult job? As always, enjoy the video. See you tomorrow. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Peace and love, gang. And I mean, I'm not clip farming and I'm not doing any shit. I mean this in the, in the, in the nicest way possible. I know, I know. Just hang with me. Possible, I swear to God, all my life, all my life, I swear to God, mentally, not Good physically. Morning. Mentally, working as a streamer is the hardest job in the world. You can't even compete, bro. It's harder to work, be a streamer than be in the Olympics. Oh, dear God. Okay. Mentally, working as a streamer is the hardest job in the world. You can't even compete, bro. It's harder to work, be a streamer than be in the Olympics. I swear to God, all my life. You have to understand. Mm. The stress, trying to top yourself... Trying to meet the standards, mm. trying to think of content. Mm. It's I swear to God, you can say clip farm, you can say I don't give a fuck. You can say what you want. I swear to God, you don't understand because you're not a streamer. You don't get it, bro. Mm. This is the hardest shit in the world. You could ask any streamer, you could ask anyone. This is a very hard job, and I'm so grateful to be here. But it's hard. It's hard as fuck, and it's it's really really stressful, bro. And I would appreciate if you guys can go a little easy on me, bro, because you know life let, life life gives you curveballs, bro, and it, and, it, and it fucks you and shit, bro. And you just gotta move on, all right? And and I and I'm I'm God bless. What? Oh, this month was a low month so far because I've only streamed 111 hours. $86,129. Jesus Christ, Chad. So terrible. July was even worse. July July was 185 hours streamed. 185 hours streamed. He's and it trolling. was only $148,883.55. He's, tro he's trolling. Like, Look, did I fall smart. off? He's did I fall off? Sub. Sheesh. Did I fall off? Like, what happened? So there was this streamer out there named He's Hassan. Drunk. I'm oh, sure many God. of you know who he is. Some of you probably like him. The Others worst. might hate him. Like many political figures worst. online, he oh, is boy. polarizing. You yeah. see, Hassan has been around this internet game for quite some time. And over the years, he Hold has on, become though. increasing- Hold on, though, bro. Hold on. Like, mad annoying, but looking kind of- Looking kind of like husky in this one right here, bro. Has been around this internet game for quite some time. And <laughs> Look at a little years, husky in this one, Hoss. Aggressive with his views. And at this point, I would describe him as basically alt left. Like even Ethan Klein, Absolutely. who has become very much a leftist, couldn't deal with his nonsense. Actually, you know what? Go listen to his song. People say, I need to go listen to his song. This is bullshit. Please go listen to his song. And over the past couple of days. Bro, everybody in this YouTube video up until this point, man, it's just giving me a headache. I'll be real. Has now been going viral on Twitter. <laughs> Aside from Jamari. After he made the take that streaming is harder than any other job, at least from a social battery draining standpoint. Yes, a real job can be gruesome, a real job can make you very tired, but a real job doesn't suck the soul out of you. You know what, what I mean? In the same way that nine hours of streaming absolutely will. Now, just off the bat, I find his take to be not only very <laughs> privileged, but also just not based in reality. And with this being Hassan, and so many people disliking him, anytime he gives people this type of ammo with just a stupid take, it's yeah, essentially easy, like easy that scene dunk, from right. Spongebob where it's like, how many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old right, man? Right, right. You know, everyone gets their turn with a the A bad Hassan stick, take, no way. essentially just passing this guy around, completely trashing him. Now, in response to that clip going viral, this is what Hassan had to say. It is wild how this completely context. out of context clip made its way to Twitter so fast. I was talking about how much a nine-hour stream eats away at my social battery and how I can't socialize after. Comparing it to my sales job before, I recognize how fortunate i am every day and he also posted this longer clip that i guess is supposed to provide a little some walk sort of back context. little walk back social battery wise unless you're in retail unless you're in fucking retail it's very different you're out of touch with my, i'm gonna die dude there's motherfuckers who are accountants in here and they're misunderstanding what i'm saying a real job does not expend your social battery in the same fucking way as someone who did a sales job a real job okay 
I'm telling you, as someone who did did both, like nine hours of of constant performance and people pleasing taps you out from social scenarios. After nine hours of that, I could probably fucking physical labor. It would not bother me, but I can't do more social shit. That's my point. I mean, to me, the context here makes him look even more out of touch. <laughs> like, obviously, every single job is going to have its pros I mean, and cons. Yeah, like, right. for me, my job can be kind of the opposite. My job can be very socially isolating. Hey, you. Yeah, you. This video is sponsored by Underdog Fantasy, and it's the last week to lock in your NFL predictions for the whole season. You can choose which players are going to have a good season, like Mike Evans, or you can even choose which players are going to have a bad season, like Dak Prescott. You can even, even stack these predictions for 80 times your bet. Just be sure that when you sign up, it's only code MFAM. Now back to the video. Sometimes I can go all day without really talking to anyone. You gotta spend a lot of time on the computer. But I also understand that that's pretty much the way it goes for any job where you have to work at home. And I'm also not gonna sit here and say, oh, my job is so much harder than someone else's because it is socially isolating. And also, let's be honest, you're not performing for nine hours, dude. I mean, most of this guy's job is just watching YouTube videos and giving his political take. Hey! At the time, I'm pretty sure this guy isn't even in the room, okay? The video's just playing and he goes off to do whatever the fuck he wants. Hey! There are obviously real jobs out there that are good comparisons. Service sector, people-pleasing jobs would be very similar those are like i think customer service type shit but like if you're an accountant or if you're even like in sales my interactions with clients was limited way more limited than like constantly having to do this for nine hours with like a back and forth interaction for nine hours that's what that's what like sucks your your social battery and you just tap out after it you know, I would love to see Hassan try and do door-to-door -door sales or maybe some sort of cold calling and see how fast that type of job would suck the soul out of him. Right. Pause. I mean, at the end of the day, dude, you are a millionaire sitting in a mansion reacting to YouTube videos, right. farming millions of dollars from your audience. Right. You and obviously with this being man. Hassan, people began to make the uh, typical arguments that they're going to say against him because he does present himself as a socialist online. They say Hassan Piker taking a private jet to Coachella because he's a principled anti-capitalist. And that's always kind of been a talking point against this guy because he does live in a mansion. He drives several fancy cars. He's out here apparently taking private flights. And what they're essentially saying is, yeah, dude, you hate Make on the rich capitalism pay. all the time. You act like you're some big socialist. But then in your free time, you choose to indulge in capitalism as much as you this can. Like at the end of the day, doing streaming man. as a job when it comes to the complete. pay versus the amount of effort you have to put in, especially for like these top level streamers who have already made it and are getting like millions of dollars a month. And I would say it's a very fair assessment that they're all very privileged. I mean, I'm extremely privileged in my job. I'm not too out of touch where I can't recognize that. Like, you want to talk about mentally exhausting, you want to talk about socially draining. Like, I have friends who work out in the oil field. I'm talking about 12-hour shifts on their feet. I'm talking about missing birthdays, that missing Texas holidays, heat, working with a bunch of felons. So if I were to sit here and say, like, oh, my job is so hard because Damn, Jay. it's socially Chill. isolating. My job is so hard because I get tired of doing the same thing every day. Like, if I were to say those things, I would feel like a bitch. Because I know how hard some of my friends are working. I know people who are completely educated, with years of work experience, who cannot find a job right now. And so with this situation, Hassan is going to take his moment to kind of lean into the bait. Where someone says, what's harder than this? And obviously, this just looks like a disgustingly terrible, grueling job to have. You always see no this No matter one. how much money you're making to do it. And uh, it. Hassan says, sarcastically, it, that Twitch streaming is harder. Okay, kind of just poking fun at all the quote-unquote haters out there. Like, most people are not going to want to hear this shit. They don't want to hear about your little, oh, woe is me story, right. while you're raking in millions. And right. they can't afford their rent. They can't afford to buy groceries. They can't afford to go out and do anything fun. Like, I know so many people my age who are completely educated. They tried to do everything right, everything the way the system told them to do it. And now they just feel completely screwed. Like they're still having to live with their parents and they're approaching 30 years old. Mm. They don't own a house. All they really have is debt to their name. Right. Like they don't want to hear your privileged ass hot takes from your nasty ass room. Damn. 
Okay, guys, this is a debate that I've seen pop up on my timeline too many times. Now, for those of you who don't know, I've been a streamer the majority of my adult life. A long time, like 10 to 15 years here. So I got some experience being a streamer. However, before that, I worked a few jobs. I was in the Navy, okay? It didn't work out as a SEAL, so I was basically a glorified janitor. Had that job. <sighs> before that, I worked at a powerhouse gym. I know, go figure, right? And then before that, I was a caddy at a private country club. So I've been on both sides, I guess you can say. Now, I will start with the side that you're going to hate the most. But we should talk about both of them. It is pretty difficult to become a successful entertainer, content creator, streamer, you know? There are a lot of aspiring streamers out there. It's kind of like sports. For every professional athlete, you have every aspiring athlete that didn't make it. And they're tough stories, man. They're grindy stories. They tried their best and they came up short. Streaming in today's world is a lot like that. There's that many people trying to do this. So if you do make it out, congrats, but it's slim to none. Now, if you make it and you become a streamer, there's pressures and there's things that you'll have to deal with that you, you know, you might have not had to deal with before in your life. You got a lot of people and they're looking at you, okay? You got a lot of eyes on you. And there's an expectation to deliver a certain amount of entertainment on time. There aren't ever any guarantees, so there's a lot of uncertainty. You got to plan your content. And over the years, man, there's been all kinds of things that have taken a lot of strategy, a lot of planning for me that have paid off. All these guys in the video, they're coming, they're speaking from their heart and how they feel. But the reality of this situation that we are in is that this job is a dream job. It is a job that almost everybody would take. It's a beautiful experience, man. You get to be creative and innovative. You get to bond and make lifetime friendships, playing video games alongside all your pals. I mean, th this is it. This is the dream. So anytime you see a guy in our shoes or a girl, whatever it may be, complaining about being here and then comparing it to the other side of the fence and saying that it's harder or stressful or whatever it might be, it comes off as spoiled or like out of touch. A lot of you have jobs like I've had before where you got to leave your house every day, you got to travel, you're on the road, long hours, hard work. And to say in any light or in any way that this job is more stressful than that, it's just not going to fly, man. It's not going to fly. So after hearing my thoughts on this whole thing, tell me how you guys are feeling, man. Like, do you agree with these streamers that this is harder on the mind and more taxing in the brain than a lot of your job? Or do you think they're gassing it and they're just a little bit out of touch?